hi guys welcome back to the channel so in today's video we are kicking off our fall decorate with me series here at my house and I am going to start with my entryway slash foyer area here is all of my fall decor that I decided to keep that I already had from previous years you guys know from following my vlogs that I gave a lot of stuff away that was in the traditional colors but these are the items I decided to keep and here is all of the items that I purchased this season for my home to decorate with as you can see I decorate in the non-traditional fall colors now because my accent color on the main level of my house is navy blue different hues of navy blue but navy blue nonetheless and I wanted to incorporate that color in all of my fall decor as well as my Christmas decor and spring decor you'll see that you know down the line um, but let's get started here's everything that I purchased if you have not seen the um, haul videos I'll link them up above but I show you all of these things here is my current entryway now we are in the process of updating and upgrading all of our oak railing we have not started on the front entryway yet we started on the back side of the back staircase i do have a dual staircase in this home so here i am just cleaning um all of the dust and gook and all that stuff off just from over time and here it is all cleaned off so now i'm working with the clean slate and i can start to bring some of my home decor over into this space and play with it now there was no rhyme or reason to this you guys i purchased these beautiful pillows from home goods again they were in the haul video and then i purchased this last one here that says thankful from the target dollar spot for only five dollars and it took me a while to figure out the pillow placement here you guys because i knew i wanted to use all three of them i kind of liked it without the thankful pillow but then something in me said to use it just because i like the fact that it said thankful and i wanted to remember the reason for the season so it took me a while to kind of play with the pillow placement here but I finally got it to how I like it and you guys will see that so sit back and go ahead and enjoy and I will continue to figure out how I want to place everything here I am finally happy with the pillows and this is a beautiful candle holder that I got from home goods along with some navy blue candles now you guys I am going to sit this on the floor because that's where I initially wanted to place it when I first saw it in home goods but I want you guys to keep in mind that I have to be a little strategic with my home decor placement this year because I do have a little one I have a toddler she's 13 months almost 14 months and I have to put the soft toddler friendly decor and pumpkins and stuff within her reach because I know for a fact she's going to grab at it and I don't want her grabbing my ceramic or my glass pumpkins and potentially hurting herself or hurting someone else so keep that in mind when you watch this video that most of the items if not all of them that are on her level are going to be plastic and fabric and then I'm going to put my more glam decor up higher so that she can't reach it so just keep that in mind okay we rewind it feels so nice I can't help. Got this sweet talk. Come on, come on. 
And guys, so the pumpkins you see me placing here, I have already had all of these. One of them, the small white one there, is actually a DIY. I did that years ago and I still have them. They're still in great condition. The small blue one that I placed there is from the Target Dollar Spot a couple of years ago. And then that silver one, I'm not sure where I got it from, but I've had that one for years too. So I just wanted to add um, a few pumpkins here to make it more festive. And I actually love the way that this looks so far. Okay guys, so I grabbed these Robert Stanley collection fall leaves from Hobby Lobby that was also in a haul video and I grabbed them specifically for the navy blue leaves. I'm not going to use the traditional color leaves that were in there, um, but I thought these would be really, really pretty to add to my collection because they go with my color scheme that I do on my main level and I had never seen the blue leaves before. So you'll see that I also add some to that wreath on the wall um, and that does say home. I added a couple of the blue leaves just to bring in some of the blue color and also make it a little fall festive. So stay tuned and you'll see that in the next clip. Okay guys, so now that I think it looks really good, you let me know what you think down below. I'm going to go ahead and use my scissors and cut off all the tags because I think this is the permanent placement for the season until my little one gets to it. Um, so yeah, that's what I did. I went ahead and took off all the tags and I am going to finish this space off with a little bit of this white pumpkin room spray. You guys, I'm not a pumpkin scent person, but this smells so good and the smell actually lingered for a while. I smelled this for at least an hour, an hour and a half um, and it smelled so good. I got it from Home Goods and it wasn't too expensive. So here's how this area has turned out, and I absolutely love it. Okay, so next I am going to add something to my front door. I got this beautiful, beautiful wreath from TJ Maxx. It was $40 and I absolutely love it because the pumpkins are velvet and they are gray, which matched the the color scheme of my house all of my walls are gray and then they also have blue berries on it and you guys know the accent color to my home on the main level is blue so I thought it was perfect I recently painted my front door black and also do not pay attention to what's in that dining room that room is in transition and it has become a catch-all room so we are working on that space as well but I thought this wreath was beautiful and so now that I have it the way that I want to I'm just cutting off the tags because this beauty is here to stay for the entire season someday, someday. 
And so next up is my entryway table. Here is the before. As you can see, I just had regular glam decor on here and I am going to spruce this up for the fall. I absolutely love the mirror. It came from Home Goods years ago and the table is discontinued. I purchased it from Target years ago as well. So the first step for me is going to be to take everything off and give this baby a wipe down because it has been a while since I actually did that and I wanted to start with a clean slate. Now that the space is all clean, I'm just going ahead and putting the decor that I know is going to stay here for the fall season back on. My Ming boxes from Z Gallery are not going anywhere. I absolutely love these. And also my family portrait on the bottom half of the table um, is staying as well. So I put those things back on and now I'm going to add a vase with some fall florals or my take on fall florals this vase fun fact actually it what used to be a candle holder and the top of it came off and it, I noticed that it was hollow on the inside so I've been using it as a vase for years and I absolutely love the way that it looks um, here are some I believe you call them lamb's ear I purchased these from Michael's with a coupon of course and they were on sale and so I went ahead and purchased two bunches I think that's all I'm going to need for this area and then I'm going to also add in some pumpkin sprays now I was only able to find two from Hobby Lobby in my area and I'm only going to use one on this arrangement because I want to use another one in the sunroom so stay tuned for that video as well but here I am just separating the branches and the leaves and making them look more full and then I'm going to go ahead and assemble the arrangement Don't deny that I could do some company All my friends say, honey, just let him be Now your perfume's stuck in my shirt And there's an ember left in my bed I don't know about you, but put you first I bought some new flowers, they all dead First you are in, then you are out Like snow I just want your time So now 
that I've replaced my candle holders, which I absolutely love. They are a faux marble. I got them from Ross. I'm going to put this navy blue welcome sign that I purchased from the at-home store for just $9.99. I'm going to put that on the table because I love to put a hello or a welcome sign since this is my entryway. And I found this one in the right color scheme, so it's definitely going to go on the table. Um, next, I'm going to put, like I told you, my less toddler-friendly fall decor on this top tier of the table because baby girl cannot reach this high yet so I'm going to put um, these pumpkins here and I'm going to break them up one of them is white it says hello fall on it and the other one is like a mercury glass it's really pretty and then another DIY white and silver pumpkin that I that I made years ago still in great condition I had this large uh, glass owl that I absolutely love it's silver and you'll see later on in the clip that I'm going to add something beside him but again here is another fabric target dollar spot pumpkin that I've had for a couple years and never used so I'm going to remove the tag on that I'm also going to add some navy blue um, pillar candles to those uh, marble pillar candles holders and I absolutely love the way that the blues are playing off of each other none of these are the exact same shade of blue but they all work together when we rewind, Lastly on this shelf I'm going to add this beautiful blue give thanks candle by the sensational candle brand that I purchased from I believe home goods for $14.99 it smells amazing and I absolutely love the fact that it was in the right color scheme that I needed and it's fall friendly and so next I'm going to start with the lower level of the table and I'm going to use toddler friendly fall decor of course these are some fabric pumpkins that are in like the cream champagne color I purchased these from the at home store maybe three years ago and I've never used them so I decided to pull out what I had and you know shop my own home and use what I already had so these are toddler friendly because if she picks them up and throws them she cannot break them so I'm going to put these on the lower level because I know as soon as she sees them she's going to go right for them um, but here I am removing the tags finally and putting these bad boys to use they are so pretty and so glam and I absolutely love them Lastly for this level, I'm going to put this blue rhinestone encrusted pumpkin, velvet pumpkin that I purchased from Home Goods for, I believe it was $16.99. I'm going to put this on the other side. Again, I like to bring in different hues of blue so that they all work together in my home on this main level. And this one was so beautiful because it was encrusted with the rhinestones. I had never seen that before. So now I'm going to take out my broom and go ahead and sweep up all of the tags and all of the glitter fallout and all that stuff so that I can show you guys the final reveal of the entryway. Okay guys, so the last thing for us to do is to light the candle and set the mood for the reveal. So let's do that right now together. And next, I'm going to show you the reveal. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to subscribe. Be sure to stay tuned for other Decorate With Me videos for our fall season. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye. I belong, I belong to you. And I always be around when I need some loving, baby. And I never let you down. Let you down, let you down. I'm your song. And you're playing all my melodies. There's no one else. Cause, baby, we got chemistry. You give me feelings. That feelings that I never knew. The universe.
Got me too. 